Hey guys, I'm Jake. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a share button to your game. But first, this tutorial is part of a suite of tutorials that I've been making. Um, there's going to be a playlist in the description that you guys can check out. Currently, we've already talked about incorporating Unity ads and in-app purchases. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do leaderboards, achievements, daily rewards, and all sorts of things. So subscribe because you don't want to miss out on that. But let's get into this tutorial. So guys, I actually went ahead and I made a little game just for this tutorial. It's pretty simple. I'll just explain it real quick. It's just a main scene where you tap on the square and this counter goes down and you can keep tapping it to see what your high score is going to be or what your score is going to be. So after it goes, it'll go to the next screen. And I got 64. So the only other functionality on this is you can go back to the main screen or the point of this tutorial we have a share button that currently does nothing because I haven't added any functionality to it because that's what we're going to get into. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, we're going to use an asset from the asset store. It's going to make it a lot easier and it's 100% free. So let's just open the asset store. So let's go to window asset store and then you're going to want to type in native share for Android and iOS and it's this guy so we'll click on that and I haven't imported it yet so I'm just gonna import it real quick just keep all of it and import and it's finished importing so don't exit out of this page we're actually gonna use it in just a sec but just leave it there but we're gonna want to make a script so let's go down here and you can make this in wherever you want in your assets and just create a C sharp script and we're gonna call this share button Okay, double click on it to edit. And we are not gonna use any of this, so I'll just delete that. And let's go back to the asset store. And this asset is really nice because it actually does most of the work for us. So um, you're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom where it says GitHub page. You wanna click on that. And down here in its GitHub, if you scroll, if you scroll down to the example code, you're just going to want to take this function, the um, the coroutine that's uh, take screenshot and share. Okay, so let's just copy that. Okay, so let's bring it in here, and we'll just paste it in. And we don't need this, so I'm just going to delete that just to make it look nicer. And you're going to notice that we have some errors, and Basically all this is doing is if we need to go up here, we just need to type in using uh, system.io. As this method goes, there's only a couple things that we need to change in it, okay? The first thing is the subject goes here. This is where you want to type in just the name of your game. So in this case, my game is called tap the square. So that's what we're going to type in, tap the square. Okay. And next, this is where you want to put your message. This is the message that's going to share when you share it on platforms such as Twitter, Facebook, and whatnot. So you want your message to be unique and based off of the score, right? So we're not going to want to have a default one. We're going to want to create a variable. So if we come up here and we're going to create a string, we're going to do public, actually let's do this private, private string. We're going to call this share message and then take that and then we'll just plug it in down here. So we'll just delete that out and then hit share message. So now this string will pop up when we share it. Next, when the user presses the share button, we need to create the message and activate it to take a screenshot. So let's create that method. So we're going to come down here and for this particular method, we do need it to be public because we need the button to be able to access it. So let's make it public. We'll say void because it's not going to return anything and we're going to call it click share button. Okay. Next, we're going to want to create our share message. And the way we do that is we just do share message equals. And then now we need to create the string that we want to use. So a good example for this, you want to get people engaged in it a bit. So this tap the square game is score based. So we want to kind of work with that. 
So we're gonna say, cheapers, mister. I can't believe I scored and then add a space because we're gonna continue with uh, the actual score from the game. So we're gonna add, and this is where we're gonna add our integer or where we're gonna add the score. So how my game's set up is I have a static uh, class that deals with the high score. So all I need to do is get the high score from that and then show it. For my particular case, mine, guys, I'm gonna do save data because that's the class that I was using and I'm going to say uh, score. <laughs> and then because that's an integer, we do have to create it or use it as a string. So it's pretty simple, just do to string and that's a method so we need to close that out. I did not mean to use a semicolon. And then we just wanna continue the string. So, um, jeepers mister, I can't believe I scored blank, that's the score. Just make sure that you plug in your score right there. And then you're gonna wanna end it. We put a space here because it's gonna be space, then the score. So we need to put a space after that. Make sure you have that space in there. And then I scored the score and then we wanna reference our game. So uh, I guess in a sentence it would read, Jeepers mister, I can't believe I scored say 10 points. So we're gonna wanna put points. Um, in tap the square. And use an exclamation mark because it's impressive. Okay, and then just uh, semicolon that out. So now when we share our message, or when we click the share button, we're gonna get this message popping out with a screenshot of our uh, game over screen, which is exactly what we want. So now the button currently doesn't call this numerator so we need to do that and the way we do that is we just say start coroutine and then we just call it take screenshot and share and end it with its quotes and uh, quotes parentheses and we'll save that and that should be everything that we need it's really that simple go back to unity and you're gonna find that you can't share on Unity, you have to do it on, you have to test it either on iOS or Android. Both of them will work with this. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, the phone I have is a OnePlus 6T, so I'm going to show it on that. So now, to test this, we're gonna wanna go to our build settings. And I have it set to Android because I'm gonna be testing it on my Android device. I've already set up my player settings for this game. Make sure you do that for you guys to test it. And then I'm just gonna hit build and I'm just gonna call it tap the square version 1.0. Mine's not gonna go on the actual store, this is just for the test. So I'm gonna save it to the desktop and I'm gonna hit save. I will make you guys sit through this and we're just gonna jump on to the actual device. Okay guys, I actually forgot something pretty important. We need to add the functionality to the button. Okay, so let's go to my game over screen here and I'll click, click on your button, your share button, right? So I have mine selected here and you're just gonna wanna, you need to first add the functionality to the button. So let's go to the share button and then add our share button script to it. That's all you need. You're gonna wanna add some functionality to the button. So just drag our share button on top of it, go to the uh, share button script, and then we just wanna do click share button, okay? Can't believe I forgot that, but it's okay. Okay, so let's save this and I'll see you on the phone in about two seconds. Okay, so I got it on the phone and we're just gonna quickly see if I can get a good score and then share it on Twitter. So let's do that, so let's get into it. This game is amazing. Two seconds. Okay, I got 76. That's the high score because that's the first time I've ever played on this phone, but we'll say that's a good score, so let's just share it. So let's click share, and we will go to Twitter. And you can see 
that it says, Jeepers, mister, I can't believe I scored 76 points in Tap the Square. And then it even gives a screenshot of the device. So everything's working and it should behave the same way on both iOS and Android. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe, and if you want to see the games that I've been making, my latest game, Cross Doctorate, is on iOS and Android, and the link will be in the description below. So go check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.